Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. This week we're going to be touching on a few different subjects. At the moment I'm just cleaning all the tubs, which is everyone's favourite job, but of course it has to be done. And while I'm at it, I'm always planning ahead with breeding projects, enclosures and stuff like that. And looking at the rack system, I think it's time to make it a bit higher, but we'll keep that away from the wife, won't we? Alright, I hope you enjoy the vlog this week. See you soon. So cleaning day here normally consists of me doing every single tub. I take all the substrate out, F10 every tub, make sure they're treated well, make sure the water bowls are fresh, topped up, and that's normally every two or three days depending on how messy the, the tub is. But the water, fresh every three days, which everyone should really do anyway. And if, if it is spoiled within the first few days, it doesn't take much to just give it a bit of an F10 fill it up with some nice fresh water because our pets and obviously these are a pet as well they, they need fresh water to survive you wouldn't drink stuff out of the sewage would you so we've got to make sure we do that that is our responsibility as pet owners all right so i know a lot of you reptile fanatics and enthusiasts will enjoy this one cleaning your snakes enclosure tub whatever it may be get all the way through I'm um, down to the last two tubs now which is it's, it's it's a long process if you have a fair few snakes so the thing that I find funny every single time you do a clean like this is you do the first few get down to the end and then have a look at this look what I've been left look at that nice and fresh that's I guess you'd call it a thank you from from Maggie there I guess that's what you call it. So guess what I've got to do now after I get through these last two tubs is I've got to go back over and do a spot clean. So <laughs> that's that's just part part and parcel, I guess. So I'm gonna get back to that and then we'll get on to the next thing. <laughs> Brooklyn! Brooklyn! Don't you get mummy! <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you gonna get? Oh! Can get taken? Can get David? Oh! Nearly. Oh, good fro! This is the way we dress the tree. <laughs> oh! Ow! <laughs> uh. Oh! Oh! You gonna put it on the tree? Do you want it? Okay. So guys, just quickly, I just wanted to touch on the Worma Python hatchlings and how they're going so far. At the moment, they're doing very, very well. Haven't had their first shed yet, but they've had that milky eye, which, which is a good sign, which means they're going to go through their shed soon. So that first shed will be the greatest part, and that's the start of getting ready to feed, getting them used to handling, and all those amazing things. So I'll give you a bit of a close-up now of what and how they're going along, and then we'll see what else I can fit, fit in before it's time to go. So here we go, here's, here's Feisty Monkey. And that one seems to be the more inquisitive one out of the two. But as they get handled a lot more, they will know that. No, they, they will be able to tolerate being handled as it is. But that one seems to be a lot more of a cleaner look on the patterning side. So it'll be inter interesting to see how they go after a few sheds and a few feeds. Because everyone knows that the patterns do change after a few sheds as well, so that'll be interesting to see. But he seems to be keen in on the camera a little bit too, he just knows. There we go. And then obviously the next one is the little shy one, which I think, in my opinion, is my favourite with the, with the black back. It's not too much of a black back, but it's still enough to, if you can see it there, it just looks gorgeous. No, I'm more of a darker animal lover myself, but there's a few people around that do enjoy the, the lighter animals as well, which is a nicer, cleaner look. But there's those two there, and it's a bit of an update for you. So I think that's all the time we've got for this week, and I might even put in for the next vlog, I'll cover 
the hat albino spotted pythons and go through a few things there what, what, what we're feeding them at the moment what we're hoping to get out of the breeding season next season and a bit a little bit of information about the species as well for the other non reptile people there so I hope you guys enjoyed the little Christmas thing we had going on there. Brooklyn loved putting the tree up and throwing the balls at, at my wife and, and uh, my brother and his girlfriend. But, you know, that's, that's part of the fun, isn't it? you got a little toddler, she's going to want to throw things. But I hope you enjoyed the vlog this week, and I really hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and drop a comment down. Let me know that you're watching. And until next week, I'll see you then.